Welcome to Distance Learning in the Online Classroom. Like any other classroom, there are certain behaviors or rules of etiquette that apply to communication with both your peers and your instructor. These guidelines are referred to as netiquette. Here are some netiquette suggestions for success in the online learning environment at SUNY Plattsburgh. As a distance learner, the majority of your communication will be written. When communicating with your classmates or instructor, it's important to use correct spelling and grammar. It's a good practice to compose your document in a word processing program where you can check your spelling and grammar prior to sending. Avoid slang terms such as what's up and text speak or esoteric abbreviations such as LOL, IDK, U, B, C, for. Avoid using the caps lock feature as it can be interpreted as yelling. Avoid the use of emoticons such as smiley faces or winky faces. Email is an important mode of communication in the online learning environment. Here are some tips for appropriate email communication. Open with an appropriate greeting, not hey or yo. Instead, try using Dear Dr. Einstein or Hello Professor Goodall. Identify yourself. Include your full name and banner ID. Include your course number and section if that's appropriate. Include context as to why you're writing in the first place. Include a complimentary closing, like sincerely. And include your contact information if it's not already in your signature. Discussion postings should illustrate critical thinking and evidence-based research. Discussion posts are scholarly, precise, and to the point. Some tips for appropriate discussion postings include Write and save your posts in a Word document where you can edit and save. Review and edit your posts. Save posts to your computer before using cut and paste to add to the discussion post. Be sure to read all messages in a thread before replying. Avoid repeating information that's been shared in a prior post. Look to deepen the conversation and add a perspective or challenge a premise. Avoid short generic replies such as I agree. You should include why you agree or add to the previous point. Always be respectful of others' opinions even when they differ from yours. If you disagree with someone, you should express your differing opinion in a respectful, non-critical way. Acknowledge that others are entitled to have their own opinions on the issue. And as I've mentioned before, address your instructor appropriately. Always use your professor's proper title, doctor or professor, or if you're in doubt, use Mr. or Ms. Do not refer to them by their first name unless they've already invited you to. If using a webcam with a mode of communication such as FaceTime or Big Blue Button, it's crucial to remember that you are in a classroom setting where the instructor and other students can see you and your location. Professional attire and an uncluttered background are expected in the learning environment. Noises and disruptive surroundings can be distracting to other students and instructors. Make sure that your entire face can be seen by adjusting your camera angle and avoid backlighting. If you follow these simple suggestions, you can look forward to an experience online every bit as enjoyable as a face-to-face -face environment. Good luck with your studies.